bit. I'm just gonna um, get Dr. Fuse here. I'll try and look for you for a minute. Okay. Anyway, but the same for Tony here. Thank you. Thank you. Very painful. Day to day, sometimes good, sometimes it's not good. It's all for many days. You have to go with the painkillers. Yeah, I have a, a asthma as well. Suffer with asthma. I'm asthmatic as well. I got high blood pressure. Yeah. Because it's compulsory for us to be a Muslim. And if you're very ill, you can, you don't have to do it, as long as your body takes it. So I'm fine with it. Do you want to just take a seat? Is there a okay. Okay, thank you. It's been a long time, 22 years, so I know how to manage it. First of all, I am having the medication early in the morning and the night time, evening. So we change it to the evening time after sunset and before sunrise at the night time. So th this doesn't affect my diabetes. And we are having plenty of fluid like water and plenty of salads, green salads. That help us to survive all day. And uh, at the daytime, we check uh, the blood sugar. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ If I do a good deed today, I will get 10 reward. When the Ramadan month, it will be 70 reward. So that's why the Muslim community want to fast and want to do the good deed more and more. With the uh, collaboration of BIMA and other medical organizations, we do have sessions, we do have actually uh, these kind of like sittings where we call the people, come and come with your questions and ask. One spray each day yeah. and into each nostril twice a day. In this area, we have a high prevalence of diabetes, type 2 diabetes, in our population. So we have a lot of patients on anti-diabetic medication. Some of this medication is taken tw three times a day, four times a day. So when patients are fasting, there are times where they can't take this medication, otherwise they will break their fast. So what our job as clinical pharmacist is to rationalize their medication and their regime and see what we can do to actually try and change the medication to see if they can give a long acting preparation rather than one that takes three or four times a day. If a patient has a complex medical condition, uh, such as they have kidney disease and they are on dialysis, it is not appropriate for them to fast. Um, so if they still persist on fasting, I would advise them to speak to their specialist and seek advice from them. But in Islam, it mentions that if you are not able to fast due to a medical condition, you do not need to fast, you are exempted for that.
Allah.